All right, guys. Well, welcome to episode one of some Path of Exile gameplay. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a series out of this. I probably won't. I'm just going to do a kind of a one episode kind of review talk over of this game. So this is called Path of Exiles, and it was made by Grinding Gear Games, and it's a pretty cool game. It's kind of like a Diablo-style uh, gameplay. You see, you, you have your uh, life over here and your mana uh, over there. You also have a couple uh, vials of both mana and health. So it's uh, pretty similar to Diablo, uh, except it's free to play, I believe, unless they change the 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 model at which you have to subscribe or pay a monthly fee but uh, to me right now I think it's free anyways so right now we are basically at the starting place of this game when you first get uh, started you start on this beach down here I'm not going to show you it right now but as you as you work your way through the monsters you get to this tiny little town or Villa, I don't know what to call this, it's like really tiny, but anyways, oh hello there. So anyways, as you come over here, you go to a little teleporter slash uh, waypoint selector. And so I'm level 11, yes I know it's kind of weird uh, starting a let's play or a, a video when your guy's level 11, but like I said, I'm not sure if I want to start a series on this so I'm, I'm just using my guy right now as a person to play with so uh, if I do start a series though I may or may not start over so anyways this is your kind of like your quest log as well as your waypoint selector these ones that are lit up are the ones that I can travel to the ones with no uh, dot in the middle cannot be traveled to and this one with a smaller dot uh, I've been to it but I have not I have not discovered the uh, teleporter yet so that is how you are able to travel you have to discover this little platform thing in the le uh, in the stage and so this game is kinda staged based fighting so every time you go into a new stage uh, the enemies do get a lot harder now it has been uh, quite a while since I have played this game and uh, so I uh, forgive me if uh, I'm a bit slow on the controls here. I just had an awesome lunch, and uh, now I'm just enjoying some dad's cookies. Freaking awesome, right? I love dad's cookies. Is it just me, or I'm the only one who enjoys drinking the milk right after? I think that's like the best part for some reason. I don't know. It's just the chocolate and the cookie dough kind of. Mix with the milk. What am I talking about here? Alright, so right now, as being a level 11, I can't. That is a tongue twister for some reason. Level 11. As as you can see, I can kill these enemies pretty easily. Uh, the next stage, though, does get a bit hard. Uh, I think. What is the enemy level? I think it's. I think we're at 9 or 10 right now, and I think it goes up to 12 or. Or 13, I think, next stage. So they do, they do get a lot harder as you go. So, like I said, stage based. Gotta watch my health here. So playing for a while, I have gotten a pretty nice set of armor. It's not the best, and it doesn't look the best, as you can see. Looks like I'm wearing short shorts right now. But that's the, that's the disadvantage of being a mage and having archer armor on. It just does not really go and I'll tell you a thing about the this game you don't really have a specific s class it's uh it's kind of like if you pick a guy who looks like he could be a mage you can be a knight or an archer if you want you don't have to be a, a, a mage and that's what I like about this game and I'll show you actually if I level up quickly here I don't know how long it oh it is quite a way so I'll, I might hold on how do I there is a way P okay so this is the skill points and uh, let me kill this guy I don't wanna die skeleton anyways I, I didn't wanna be massacred by him while I was in this so this is really overwhelming um, to look at but to actually go in and use it is not that 
it's not that overwhelming. It's really easy to understand. Uh, each each little point here is mapped out and explained quite well, so you know what you're getting into. You're not really you're not gonna click something and say, "Oh shoot, uh, made a mistake there." Uh, it's it's really easy to understand. And as you can see, I have done a bit. And so each class, as I said, you don't really have a specific class, but if you wanted to stick to your sp specific class, there is a side to each one. So that side would be mage, kind of, archer maybe, knight, and like a rogue or like an assassin. But the th cool thing is, is that you can actually dip in to other classes' um, special skills. So I could go all the way over here. Yes, it would take a long, long time. As you can see, I would have to go down here. But eventually, if I did get to here, I could probably, in fact, maybe light this whole thing up. But uh, there is certain parts where you might take a road and it will stop you from going somewhere. So if you take that, you might not be able to go anywhere. Uh, it might not. If you take this road, you might not be able to go this way. So it's kind of... You can refund points, but I think once you stick with uh, one, you're going to want to stick with one. But other than that, it is a very useful thing to have. There are randomly generated crates around this world, and if you break them, you do get a few um, items. They are sometimes rare, but most likely you're going to get something that's pretty crappy. Uh, I don't think I've ever found something that's really valuable to me in a chest before. Mostly uh, boss kills and enemy... Ooh. What was that? I seem to have picked up something. And I can equip it. Wow. Well, that looks a lot better if I say so myself. But is it better it looks like it is not so unfortunately be, uh, it may look bad but when it comes to you know armor in this game you really have to pay attention it's not about the best looks yes maybe if I'm in a, a town and not really fighting anybody I could show my armor off not that my armor is that good but you know just to make myself look better I guess I could equip that but when it comes to fighting enemies, you're definitely going to want to go for the best thing, even if it is the ugliest piece of armor you have ever had. So, this is a new stage. And so, the enemies do get a lot harder. I'll tell you that. I can two hit them now, but further into the stage, it might get a little bit harder. And each... Each little skeleton, I believe, has their own ar uh, like name. So, Ancient Archer, that might not be the case. But for every stage, I think the mobs have different names depending on their level of, you know, talent and skill. And I really like about this game is that they can block or you can miss accidentally. So... Uh, it's it's taking things from turn-based fighting where you can either block or miss an enemy but it's real-time fighting so I like how they've kind of implemented that all together and it makes a cool fighting experience I know things like runescape the the turn-based fighting can get a bit boring but the one thing I really like about it is how you can block or miss and that's really what makes turn-based fighting a little bit different if they didn't have that turn-based fighting you know would be the most boring thing you have ever experienced in your life ladies and gentlemen it would be so boring no one would probably play the games so saying that I didn't even watch my health I didn't even watch my health you know, huh, well, <laughs> uh, that moment when you're recording a let's play and you die, just, hmm, I'm, I'm laughing inside. I'm not, I'm not laughing right now, but I am laughing inside like crazy. 
I didn't. Uh, I am no beast of burden. I am no beast of burden. Uh, that wasn't even close to his voice. I'm sorry. Did I did I offend you? Did did I offend you, Mr. Old Guy? You can also switch weapons, I believe. E e e Eve. E yep. So that is very handy. You can have like a, uh, you can want like uh, as I have, as you can see, bow for maybe long range, obviously, and a staff if you want to get up close. And it gives you certain powers. And speaking of powers, I should show you this. I don't know why I explained this earlier, but each item, armor, weapon, stuff like that, has these little holes, and they and they're different colors, and these are like places for things called like emeralds I think they're called wait what are they called they're gems I believe well they're not specifically called gems but they look like gems and each gem let's let's call them gems so each gem has a power let's say and this power like this no is lightning so it basically upgrades your armor or your weapon and gives it special abilities that sucks. That's that's really bad. I really like using this weapon because of the lightning. Uh, it's very powerful when trapped like this. It gives you a chance to regenerate your health because it kind of knocks back and stuns the enemies for a while. Cliff Scrubber, I think that was his name. Those are pretty difficult. They there are some that have fire no, bottles. Spent. And they will throw them on the ground. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the part about you watching your mana too, uh, not just your health. So it's very tricky to uh, fight a boss in this game because you could have a awesome power up, but it uses a lot of mana. So you gotta you gotta balance out your attacks and make sure that what you're doing is is proper, so that you don't run out of mana and then you end up dying in the process because you you, you can't really defend yourself right because you don't have that special power up that you've always want oh gonna die hold on get out of range get out of range and go back in for the kill it's almost dead it's, it's pretty strong totem pole I am no beast of burden so those are totem poles as I just uh, said they are also a power up and uh, this power up is very special because you can leave and kind of walk around while the totem pole is shooting. So if you're if you're low on health, for instance, most of the time I'm going to use those instances because yeah, who am I to talk about that when I'm always low on health? Anyways, so if you're low on health and you want to escape or create a distraction you just have that power up ready and you deploy it and it's kind of like a distraction and the mob or skeleton of raid class kind of gets today. attracted to it and it also shoots back dream, so now reaches into the ground and raises up our slain imperial foes it leads the fallen from their graves oh wow stop talking this guy's killing me Come on, I'm gonna beat you. The Earth. Oh, no, I don't wanna. Class no, shh. Shut up, old wise guy. Rattling bones. Those those are very creepy. So early on, uh, you could see that they were archers, and now they're archers and these guys. So they're. It is getting a lot harder. There is different mobs. Come on. I am no beast of burden. I am no beast of burden. That's right, I beat you down. So there, as you can see, that was pretty easy. So there are different levels of totem poles. Depending on your power and your skill and your level, the totem poles will get different abilities and are also a lot stronger. Oh boy, there's a huge cluster of mobs there. The one thing, though, it, that is an annoyance in this game is is the control sort of. It's kind of like a hold and drag and point in the direction you want to go. But there is also clicking. 
And this also creates a problem when it comes to fighting because clicking is also what you do to walk. So if I misclick, I end up going there. So as you can see, if I'm fighting, this can be quite a problem. As you can see, I'm just going around in circles and that leaves me vulnerable to attack. So that is mostly why I stick to drag because it... it it, re it reduces the chance of me accidentally misclicking which will will cause you to get trapped in sometimes a big cluster of mobs and you will I call them mobs because I'm so addicted to Minecraft that mobs to me are just every single creature in any game oh it's a spider no it's a mob oh wait no it's a skeleton oh no it's a mob so anyways You got nothing on me, huh? Ancient archer. They look pretty white. I don't think they're getting too much sun. They need to get, I don't know, some suntan lotion and go out and sunbathe or something. Yeesh! Get some, you know, tan on yourself. Oh boy. Electric time, electric time. Everybody loves when electric time comes. Electric time. Yeah! Electric time! Not at your ordinary retail stores. Call 1 800 999 4404. Weird number, right? I know. That is the whole point. We make you confused so you don't have to, you know, worry. Because you'll be so confused, you'll trip down a stair- you trip down some stairs and break your neck. <laughs> and then you don't have to complain about our product. Ding 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 ding. Stupid totem pole. Yeah, I destroyed you. Yeah, I destroyed you. Get down. Alright guys, well, I think it is time to end the episode. Yes, I know. It might have been short. It might have been long. I don't know because I don't have a watch. I will say that every time and you can't do any... I love triangles. Goodbye, triangle. Good... Goodbye, randomly shadowed triangle. You'll, you will always be in my heart. Goodbye. We will miss you. Alright, guys. So, you can like, comment, and you can also check out my channel for more videos kind of like this. You know, Minecraft isn't exactly like this, but you know what I mean. Content gaming. I will be doing a lot more of these type of games it also adds variety to my channel so yeah I really like doing these type of games but might not do Path of Exiles right now just because like I always say I'm kinda of bit busy with other games so Dungeon Siege and Minecraft kinda of take up a lot of my time I was I was kinda of just lucky to the fact that I was able to record this because now that I'm getting Sony Vegas well I have Sony Vegas technically sort of it's a lot easier now to uh, produce better quality videos, and if you guys haven't noticed, I got a new intro. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's awesome, right? It's got some dubstep and some techno lighting, I guess, if you'd call that techno lighting. It's kind of just some flares, but anyways. Alright, guys. I'm going to have a, a cinematic view of the ocean that seems to end right there. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright guys, see you later.